Hey y'all, it's Mary and welcome to Guzzle. Today we are talking about casinos and let me tell you, there are no mistakes when it comes to how these are designed. The architecture inspired by an acid trip. The carpet version of a migraine headache. The ceiling that looks like the building's on fire. These are all very intentional choices that are meticulously planned with one goal in mind, which is to get you hopelessly addicted to gambling so you won't stop until you're totally bankrupt. And if you don't believe me, that's because you underestimate how smart psychopaths can be. First of all, there are no clocks or windows in a casino, which makes it really easy for you to lose track of time and stay oblivious about whether it's day or night. And even if you have a good friend who will call you up and remind you to come home if it got too late, they might not even be able to reach you because casinos are notorious for having horrible phone reception. That's because they don't want you getting calls or thinking about the outside world. They want you to sink into that ergonomic seat cushion and let it cradle your butt for hours. Their goal is to make you feel comfy and cozy and coddled, and so they make their game rooms more intimate by lowering the ceilings with the most bizarre light fixtures you've ever seen. Apparently, the amoeba-shaped chandelier is a fan favorite. And is that, it looks like a confused UFO. When you walk into a casino, you're gonna hear a beat in the background. It's gonna be hype enough to get you in a good mood, but soft enough that you could listen to it forever. And the air, why does it smell so fresh? Well, that's because casinos pump aromatherapy through the ventilation system. They've actually done research that showed when they blasted a pleasant smell into the game room, it increased playing at the slot machines by 45%. But that's not even the only extra touch that they're filling your lungs with because they also pump oxygen through the HVAC system to keep you playing longer. That happens because oxygen makes you feel refreshed and alert. Even if you haven't slept for 14 hours because you got swept up by the gambling machine and didn't realize what time it was because, again, there are no clocks or windows. But even if you did realize how late it was and wanted to head home, that ain't gonna be easy. Casinos go to evil lengths to make it as hard as possible for you to find your way out to daylight. First, they make the slot machines so tall you can't see over them and so you can only see about six feet in front of you and all you'll see is games everywhere you look. Then they put up so many lights everywhere that you'll never be able to spot an exit sign here. I mean, if there was a fire in this building, everybody would burn alive, especially with all that oxygen blasting from the vents because oxygen makes things more flammable. It also doesn't help that there are no straight aisles or 90 degree corners at a casino that create clear pathways that show you the way outside because that would make way too much sense. Instead, there are strange trippy curves and odd angles that are trying to disorient you. Seriously, they are trying to make you feel lost. In fact, a casino is intentionally laid out like a labyrinth maze with tables and machines scattered haphazardly around, so you need to weave your way around them to get anywhere, and it's not at all obvious which direction to take. I mean, which way would you go here to get out? I honestly have no idea. Can you spot the difference between these two photos? I can. This one looks way less confusing because it wasn't designed by blood-sucking sadists. It's like casino owners asked Bing to generate images of the interior of an evil funhouse designed to make someone insane. And then they hired a decorator to make these results a reality. Just look at these two spaces. Y'all cannot tell me you don't see the similarities here. I refuse to believe that these two rooms did not come from the same idea. We're talking about spiraling ceilings that are intended to make you dizzy. Light fixtures that make you feel like you're trapped in the matrix. Carpets that look like they took psychedelic mushrooms and then threw up on themselves. They're just the most nauseating, confusing, absolutely unhinged spaces you could think of, born by the most degenerate geniuses that society has to offer. And listen, y'all, we are just getting started. We have not even scratched the surface when it comes to the manipulative mind tricks that casinos play, because if you think their interior design is cruel, just wait till we get to the design of their gambling machines. You've been watching an excerpt from my video on the evil ways that casinos manipulate your mind and profit from addiction. If you wanna watch the full documentary over on my main channel, then you can click the link in the description or in the end screen coming up. All right, thanks for watching. Bye, y'all.